Communication is a, is a significant role as an architect in every part of the process. But it doesn't have to be a verbal thing that you can draw. It's not easy to discuss an idea of a building or a place by words. In the sort of early 80s, computers came on board and in such a short space of time, we're now in a position where we can produce a 3D model from the start. And, and so you're not producing layers of drawings, you're producing one single model. And now we have virtual reality, so I can see the huge benefits of using the 3D modeling with VR kit so that you are immersed in the model more than you are looking at a computer screen. For us as architects, virtual reality can work twofold. It's a brilliant way of obviously communicating our ideas to our clients. But prior to that is as a design tool. No matter how much you draw or set up long elevations and sections, you can't inhabit every part of the design. With VR, it's suddenly, it's, you're just opening another door, it's brilliant. You're actually walking around, turning around, looking back, seeing another vista, thinking, wow, there's an opportunity there to create something at the end of that vista, so you can go back to your design and, and insert something else. It's just a fantastic tool for design. I've been blown away by using VR for some of our clients. There's an immediacy about their understanding of what we're trying to communicate to them. It provides this level playing field for, for us as designers and our clients, so end users, to understand that we're talking about the same thing. Because suddenly you have this representational image and people can understand it straight away, they get it. It's the pinnacle, really, of, of our communication ideas. The next stage is the actual completed building. I think we've been anticipating this sort of moment for years, but it's only now that it's becoming mature enough and accessible enough and simple enough for, for us to really integrate it into our workflow. We're a practice that's always enjoyed using methods like sketching, uh, model making, using our drawing boards in order to get ideas across. I don't think we're saying that virtual reality will replace our usual methods of working in any way, but I think it's a brilliant addition to our toolbox. There's a kind of visceral enjoyment about being in a virtual world where you can see your designs brought to real life before your eyes. It's an incredibly powerful experience. <laughs>